UPI Radio News. I'm Jim Lounsbury. It's a few seconds past midnight in the eastern USA, where it's now 1990. And that means it's party time for millions of revelers in the east, ringing out the old year, ushering in a... UPI Radio News. The world is ringing out the old year, ushering in a new decade. It's now 1990 in the central time zone of the USA. Happy New Year from UPI Radio. There are especially happy festivities in Europe. UPI Radio News. Good morning. I'm Ron Amidon. A long-running, very bitter labor dispute may have been settled. A tentative settlement has been reached in the eight-month-long Pittston Coal Company strike that shut down mines in three states and triggered massive unrest in the coal fields of Virginia, West Virginia, and Kentucky. UPI Radio News. I'm Ron Amidon. From superpower to superpower, greetings for the new year. On behalf of the American people, my wife Barbara and my family, I bring you our warmest greetings. President Bush in a New Year's message videotape for replay inside the Soviet Union. Mikhail Gorbachev. UPI Radio News, I'm Ron Amadon. A long and very bitter strike that shook the coal fields of Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia may be over. A tentative settlement has been announced in the eight-month-old strike against the Pittston Coal Company. Labor Secretary Elizabeth Dole and union leaders made the announcement in Washington. Specifics were not... UPI Radio News, I'm Ron Amadon. David Dinkins is now mayor of this country's largest city. He was inaugurated as New York's first black mayor before thousands at an historic ceremony. We must stand for and speak for justice around the world, including Israel's right to exist in safety. UPI Radio News, I'm Ron Amadon. New claims that the civilian death toll in Panama was much higher than reported. UPI Radio's Jay Saper has our story. Heart numbers have been hard to come by for Panamanian civilians killed in the invasion. Initial estimates were a couple hundred. Not so, says the head of the Christian Democratic... UPI Radio News. I'm Diane Burr. The new year is off to a happy start for more than 1,700 miners involved in the bitter strike against the Pittston Coal Group. It was announced today that a tentative settlement has been reached which would end their nine-month-long walkout. The strike closed mines in Virginia, West Virginia, and Kentucky. UPI Radio News. I'm Diane Burr. Some U.S. troops started pulling out of Panama this New Year's Day. 68 troops are already back on U.S. soil, and another 73 should leave Panama in a few hours. Also today, one of Manuel Noriega's close associates was arrested and extradited to Miami on drug trafficking. UPI Radio News. I'm Diane Burr. A handful of U.S. troops left Panama today, the first troops to leave there since the U.S. invasion. Sixty-eight troops arrived back on U.S. soil this afternoon, and another 73 U.S. troops are supposed to leave Panama tonight. White House spokesman Marlon Fitzwater, traveling with the president, said Mr. Bush was glad. UPI Radio News. I'm Diane Burr. Some of the U.S. troops in Panama have accomplished their mission, and now they're coming home. The first troops pulled out since the U.S. invasion left today. 68 troops left this afternoon, and another 73 are coming home at this hour. UPI Radio's Bill Small reports the announcement. UPI Radio News. I'm Diane Burr. The first U.S. troops have left Panama since the invasion December 20th. The White House announced this evening that 141 soldiers left today and that the rest will return home as soon as possible. This pullout is not extensive. The U.S. still has more than 26,000 soldiers. UPI Radio News. I'm Diane Burr. It's not very many, but it's the start of the U.S. pulling troops out of Panama. The White House says 141 Americans came home today. This also came as Nicaragua booted 20 U.S. diplomats out in retaliation for the U.S. invasion of Panama. In the meantime, Manuel Noriega... UPI Radio News, I'm Jim Lounsbury. The 20 U.S. diplomats kicked out of Nicaragua have left for home. They were expelled by President Ortega in retaliation for the raid by U.S. troops on the residence of the Nicaraguan ambassador in Panama City. President Bush says Ortega... UPI Radio News, I'm Jim Lounsbury. Good news for a lot of coal miners in Virginia, West Virginia, and Kentucky. A tentative agreement has been reached in the nearly nine-month old Pittston Company strike. 
United Mine Workers Union President Richard Trumka predicts the rank and file will approve it. They could be back to work. UPI Radio News. I'm Jim Lounsbury. 141 U.S. troops have been flown home from Panama. It's the first withdrawal since the intervention 12 days ago. A special envoy sent by Pope John Paul is expected to arrive in Panama City shortly in response to the Manuel Noriega situation. UPI Radio News. I'm Jim Lounsbury. Both sides in the Long Piston Coal Company strike think a lot of healing has to be done now that a tentative contract agreement has been reached. Mike Oden is president of Pittston Coal. The company is the, the one that has to look after these people in the union. UPI Radio News. I'm Jim Lounsbury. 141 American troops have been pulled out of Panama and flown back to Fort Ord, California, the first withdrawal since the U.S. intervention almost two weeks ago. They left on the day the administration of the canal was turned over to a Panamanian under the terms of a 1977 treaty. UPI Radio News, I'm Howard Dykus. <laughs> Panamanian spent New Year's Day serenading Manuel Noriega. That is no love chant. UPI Radio's Jay Saper says the people are yelling anti-Noriega slogans while officials try to talk the Vatican Embassy into turning Noriega out.